Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show you another case of skin disorder in newborn known as Staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. So in brief, you will learn introduction, etiology, pathogenesis, clinical feature, investigation, differential diagnosis, treatment and the prognosis of S4. So as I said in the previous video that skin problems are categorized into three conditions. So it is a serious infection. Another terminology for this condition is either we can say S4 or Ritter disease, Lale disease or Staphylococcal necrolysis of the epidermis or acute Staphylococcal epidermolysis. It is an exfoliative skin disease. It is toxin mediated Staphylococcal infection. It is caused by the exfoliative epidermolytic toxin A and B which is produced by the Staph aureus. And in pathogenesis, it, this toxin causes the loss of cell adhesion in the superficial layer of the epidermis and it acts on the desmosome. So, which is very important to adhere the adjacent skin cell. Toxin binds to the molecule desmoglein 1 within the desmosome which get broken up in a manner that the skin cell lose the adherence and patient develop the characteristic clinical features. So in first 24 hours patient clinically have the redness of his skin or sandpaper like feeling will be there and his skin will be wrinkled and in next 24 to 48 hour blister formation occur over the body and start from the in the folds in perioral area in legs arm groin neck area and slowly over the whole body and sometimes patient is having only few blister which is localized to the infection site and sometimes it is spread to the whole body leading to the severe due to the severe exfoliation skin surface is peeled off and it skin looks like a burned appearance scalded appearance and also it will follow by the erythematous cellulitis patient will also have the fever refusal to feed irritability malaise weakness and intense pain and for the diagnosis we can perform the nikolsky sign and in this sign uh, skin peeled off with gentle touch and leaves the weight red area which appear as a burnt skin and for investigation we can go for the sepsis screening test complete blood count ESR CRP and for the confirmation we have to send the culture of the blood urine skin umbilicus nose conjunctiva basically when we send the culture from the blister skin erosion are usually sterile because they are triggered by the toxin not direct bacterial infection is there in the skin lesion and by serological test also we can confirm and also by the skin biopsy in differential diagnosis whenever patient is having the blister formation or pustule formation at the site of infection which is not spread to the other part of the body caused by the same toxin released by the staph aureus we label as a bullous impatigo and another condition is toxic shock syndrome in which patient will have the uh, fever and simple erythematous rash no blister formation will be there it is caused by the exotoxin released by the staph aureus and after 5 to 10 days of the uh, rash patient will have the desquamation another uh, uh, differential diagnosis are we have to differentiate it from pemphigus which is the autoimmune disorder in which also a blister formation occur and also we have to differentiate from the epidermolytic bullosa which is a genetic disorder and also from the peeling skin syndrome also there are uh, some allergic reaction caused by the medication S example steven johnson syndrome toxic epidermal necrolysis 10 and in which uh, patient will have the involvement of mucous membrane also so to differentiate sjs and 10 from the s4 mucous membrane involvement will not occur in the s4 while it will occur in the sjs and sjs and 10 both are the allergic reaction 
in HAS patient will have the less than one third part of the body involvement while in the 10 there will be more than one third body surface area will be involved. In treatment we have to give the IV fluid and electrolytes to maintain the fluid and electrolyte balance. We have to start the IV antibiotic to cover the stay 4 years. So first line we prefer the either nephcelin and cephalosporin. If the organism is methicillin resistant stay 4 years then we have to give the vancomycin or linezolid. Paracetamol for the pain relief and fever and there is a role of IVIG in S4. And in topical treatment we have to apply the emollient eosin liquid of 1% and tube fusidic acid and mupirocin against the stephorias topically. And there are the few complications cellulitis, septicemia can develop fluid electrolyte imbalance can occur, patient can develop the shock or post streptococcal glomerulonephritis and sometimes patient may have the scarring also. In prognosis most of the patient recover within 2 to 3 weeks without any long term sequelae. We have to continue the antibiotic at least for 2 weeks in S4. So this is all about the staphylococcal scar dead skin syndrome. Thank you so much.